the final resting place of Rome's greatest emperor. On its time, the most fascinating building ever made, abandoned and neglected for centuries, is finally open to the public. Join us while we explore and uncover the secrets of the Mausoleum of Augustus. The Mausoleum of Augustus was one of the first major constructions of Rome's first emperor. The building was built in 28 BC and it has been said that Augustus was inspired by the Mausoleum of Alexander the Great located in the city of Alexandria in Egypt. And despite being the biggest circular mausoleum in the world, it was completely abandoned and left in terrible conditions until the renovation which started in October of 2016. The young Gaius Octavius, born in Rome on 23rd of September of the year of 63 BC, his father was an old and wealthy man from Velletri, a town 40 km southeast of the city of Rome. The old town nowadays is contained inside of the metropolitan area of the modern city of Rome. His mother, Atia, was a daughter of the house of Julia and a young sister of the famous Julius Caesar. His famous uncle then had a male heir only a daughter named Julia and was very fond of the young Gaius Octavius and he even took the responsibility of provide for his education. After the brutal assassination of his uncle in 44 BC, the will of Caesar was opened and Caesar had named Octavius as his adopted son and by so become the heir of Julius Caesar's legacy. The will and assassination of Julius Caesar brought Rome into a 13-year civil war which resulted into the end of the Roman Republic and gave birth to the Roman Empire. And ultimately, Octavian was the one who came out victorious of this war. One of his main advantages in the Civil War was the name of his adoptive father, Julius Caesar. Caesar was loved and highly respected by the army and the people of Rome, and in a lot of ways is still highly regarded even today. Because of this reason, he decided to change his name to Gaius Julius Caesar Octavian. He ruled for 41 years and died at the age of 75. He is mostly known by his title Augustus, which means, roughly, the first citizen, the elevated, or even the augmented one. And he is the first true emperor of Rome. Augustus built the mausoleum in 28 BC, just a year after he established himself in power and many years before his own death. The mausoleum served as a symbol of power among the nobility of Rome, and as a great reminder of who was the one in charge. It was intended for an entire dynasty and important friends of the house. Among the people buried in the mausoleum were Livia, third wife of Augustus, his great friend and one of the greatest Roman generals, Agrippa, also some of his descendants like the emperor Caligula and other Roman emperors like Tiberius and Nerva. The excavation began in 2007, but it really started to escalate in 2016 when a local telecommunication company called Tin contributed 6 million euros to the renovation of the site. Because of the sheer size of the construction, it was a massive challenge for the restorers. The biggest circular tomb in the site measured 87 meters in diameter. The volume of the walls which needed to be restored are over 15,000 square meters. The central chamber of the mausoleum was shaped as a cylinder and originally measured around 40 meters, which is as high as the Colosseum. The mausoleum was covered by white marble and on the top used to have a bronze statue of the Emperor Augustus. The construction was surrounded by gardens, which were located at the main entrance from the city and they could be seen from a very long distance. At the center of the tomb, was a place where all the funerary urns were located and still can be found inscriptions in the places where the urns supposed to be, giving us an idea of how it would have looked like on Augustus' time. Close to the entrance there were bronze plaques engraved with the Latin words res gestae, which is a term still used in English by lawyers, means in plain English have the things done in the mausoleum is a short form for Res Geste Divi Augusti, which translates as the deeds of the divine Augustus, which is a text 
written by Augustus himself, giving a first-person record of his life and accomplishments. The Res Gesta is especially significant because it gives an insight into the image that Augustus wanted that the Roman people see in him. Augustus left the text in his will, which he instructed the Senate to carve it into places where the Roman people would see it. The original, which has not survived, was engraved upon a pair of bronze pillars and placed in front of the mausoleum, but many other copies of the text were made and carved in stones on monuments or temples throughout the Roman Empire. Between some which have survived, most notably an almost full copy written in the original Latin and a translation in Greek was preserved on a temple dedicated to Augustus in Ancyra, nowadays Ankara in Turkey. The inscription itself is a monument to the establishment of the Julio-Claudian dynasty that was to follow Augustus. Although closed off since the last century, the mausoleum was in use for many centuries after it was abandoned as a tomb. Most of the Julio-Claudian dynasty emperors and families were buried at the mausoleum. Only the emperor Nero ashes were excluded from the burial site. The first different usage of the mausoleum for other than a burial place happened in the 12th century AD when a noble family called Colonna turned the construction into a fortress. But in the year 1241, Pope Gregory IX expelled the Colonna family and dismantled the fortress. Later, in the 18th century, the Soderini family bought the site and created an ornate garden with it. And after, it was used even for bullfights and then for theatrical shows and even a circus performance. This can give you an idea of the scale of the monument. Finally, in the year of 1907 to 1936, the inner enclosure of the mausoleum was converted into a concert hall known as the Augusteo. It could be seated around 3,500 people. But Mussolini put an end to the concerts, and the last performed was on 13th of May of 1936. He wanted the mausoleum to become his tomb as part of the regeneration of the Piazza Augusto Imperatore, but this never happened. Augustus was a giant among legends. He managed to thrive against all odds, reshape the Roman Republic into a Roman Empire. His legacy is enormous. He changed the fate of the whole Europe and the Western world, and his final resting place deserves all respect and admiration. If you like videos about ancient history and discoveries, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated on our future videos. And also, do like the Romans do and give us a thumbs up. If you found this video interesting, feel free to share on Facebook, Reddit and other social media to help this channel grow. Tibi gratis ago pro vigilable.